What are you guys? Light ships. Okay, that's great. No, what about you guys? Galleys and cogs. Galleys and cogs. Um, we got an army here. Can we load them on a boat? It looks like we can. No leader. Recruiting a general will cost you 50 military power. Let's recruit a general. Uldrich, Ulrich Nudson. Sure, I'll take you. Um, enable rebel suppression, create a new unit. You know what, we'll just take the full military over there. We'll show them that we're not playing around. Um, a unit can be attached to transport and port. When the transport leaves the port, the unit will embark on the transport and leave with it. Unit size exceeds the transport uh, capacity, no troops will be loaded. What is your transport capacity? Six, so 6,000, is that what that means? Can carry six regiments, all right, so we need to break on a force. We'll go, well, we can have six, so we'll have, um, go ahead and take off that, is that six? Oop, attach transport. Let's see if this works. Oh man, they're leaving port. They hopped on! Aw oh, yeah, we're going places now, boys. I've never been so happy to watch a boat move on a video game. Why'd it get dark? Why is everything so dark? It was all bright and happy. Oh yeah, I keep coming around here. We'll get there in a minute. Oh, I've never been so pumped to watch a boat move. Go ahead and speed things up to times three. I'm just... This is... If you can make sense of that, you're you very good. Um, we're just marching straight off the boat. I mean, we got six, they got five. We should win, right? In theory. Unhappiness amongst the clergy. Conflict of opinion. An interest over religious and secular matters between our government and native religious authorities. Ignore their demands. Gain. We lose Apple influence, but we're not in a place to where we can lose prestige. If we lose prestige, if we go negative in prestige, then we can lose Sweden and Norway. So we'll reject. Norwegian opinion with us, and Swedish opinion with us is great as well. Um, diplomacy, what would a gift be like? We have no diplomats to send, actually. Hmm. Look at that. Um, what is the rate of my diplomacy, I wonder? Um, he's been doing it for 44 days, so I guess I could call them back if I want them to do a different job. I'm very excited to see how this army goes here. What is this? Is that ice? Did it get blue because it's winter? Oh my god, it's January. Of course it's snow. Oh my god, it's all so snowy. From the freaking Swiss Alps to uh, Russia to, I guess, Denmark. Well, we are pretty high up in the north. Look at all the ice, though. That's awesome. This game is freaking great. I can watch boats move, I can look at snowfall. Come on, your guns are so loud, you got this buddy. I think we got it. We got it! Battle of Gotland. We won the Battle of Gotland. Beauty. Um, can I hop on the boats like this? Okay, I can hop on the boats like this. That's very good. There are buttons down here that I didn't see before. The Holy Roman Empire. Um, Imperial Authority Point Prevent. Austria is the Emperor. We are not a part of it. The Papacy. No, the man, because we lost a bunch of Papal influence there. Ooh, and I think Holstein is our vassal. That's trade. That's imperial. That's... I don't know. There we go. There's diplomacy. Ooh, what are you? Let me see. 
full steam proper. Um, they're pretty good friends with us because, you know, they're our vassal or whatever. Uh, maybe later on down the line. I believe there's some. Um, whoop, no. Uh, relations? No. Hmm, Alliance Agnes. We do have an alliance with them. Coalition Agent. Show opinions of Pulsi. <sighs> okay, um... Hmm. Offer fleet base marine. Dynastic actions. Dynastic actions. Royal marriage. Annex vassal. That's what I was looking for. You need to have 190 for me to start the annexation process with them. It's good to know. Um, Sweden, what are, what is our alliance? Uh, they are a subject nation, which means I think they're already placed into some level of alliance. Um, personal unit of Denmark, I'd also love to see, like, our inheritance chant on them, just like flat. But, uh, I actually don't know, so we'll go ahead and let things play. Would this be a good time to start this top of the first episode? I don't know, I'm always so bad at this. I really want to know grain. Oh yeah, every province has a trade good. So like this one has grain, these guys have naval supplies. Um, that'll be very important on later during like, um, what was it called? What was the thing for Africa called where everybody decided they wanted Africa all of a sudden? The, the scramble for Africa? And everyone's like, we need gold and other goodies that we can only get in Africa. And like, why the Spanish did anything on the colonization front. Reconquest Casas Belle against Gamma. What Casas Belles do I have? Can I see that? Gold ship, hire mercenaries. How do I see my Casas Belles? Your units have suffered casualties. Aw. Poor bastards. No, I want, like, me. I want me. Hmm. Very disappointed by this. No. I have no idea what I'm doing. We almost have enough administrative power to boost stability. Be exciting. So this missionary, we're probably never gonna use that missionary until we get, until we start colonizing. Income or balance is shit. Reduce inflation. What's this? Inflation change. Can I start like minting money? There's no minting option here. Oh, ooh, look at this. Army maintenance. Army maintenance. You guys don't need to be reinforcing nearly that much. Fleet maintenance. Oh, this is overall morale, that's right. We don't really need our morale until after we go to war, I don't think. So we can go ahead and have that like that, at least until we get some better trade going on. Um, Cassis, no, this is still... Here, I want to look at my Cassis Belly. Sound toll. Local trade power. Yeah, I'm Denmark. I have the sound hole. I understand that. Oh well. We'll figure this shit out later. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure this shit out later. We're gonna send our uh, first fleet back home to unload our soldiers and then we're gonna see if we can go do something over here in this trade route. Maybe over here in this trade route? Oh, that's work. Yep. Hop off. Uh, everybody's moving around. Everybody's doing stuff. I want to be doing stuff. I wonder why these two fleets come separate. Bark. That's a heavy ship, right? No, it's a light ship. What's a heavy ship? A carrot? Um, build ship. An early carrot. Okay. 
costs a shitload of time to build. Apparently Bart gives you trade cards. Okay, so maybe this fleet can land and this fleet can protect trade and start rolling. So yeah, let's go protect some trade over here. Sounds like an awful lot of fun. Can you guys dock? You guys not understand how to dock? Thank you. Jesus. Um, oh my goodness, the attrition. Why, why attrition? This current, oh, because of open sea, okay. Um, so maybe we should just protect trade closer to home. Maybe we should pe protect trade in the southern Norwegian sea. There, that shouldn't be open sea, so yeah, no. Home waters, no attrition. Detached damage, detached blockade, split in half. You can also see that Trade note. Hmm. Lubeck or the Baltic Sea? Current trade power. Oh, well, we have more trade power here, so. Well, I guess send them there? Oh, and then they just protect trade all throughout the, this part of the world. Oh, and everything's also very bright and happy in spring. Except for Finland and Russia. And the Swiss Alps. Um, I wish I had, like, vision over here to see what was going on in the rest of the world. Those borders. Borders are kind of weird. I like my dotted line borders in Crusader Kings too. I don't know how I, how I feel about those. Are we making money at all? We are actually making money. That's good news. Units suffer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Power. Administrative power is up, which means we can... Um... What's this? Oh, I need more tech for that one. Where is my freaking... I swear to god, I had... I don't even know what I was looking for. Stability. I need to increase my stability. Boost. Here it is. 100 of my administrative power. There. I boosted stability. Each level of possible stability has the following effect. Global trade power. National spy defense. Cool. How much does it cost to boost me to get? A hundred. You know what? I'm fine with that. War exhaustion. War exhaustion. We're not at war. We're hopefully not going to be at war for a while. This is a game where I'm not going to be as warmongery as Denmark because I don't really have the option to. One of the big parts about EU versus Crusader Kings is in Crusader Kings you can only be at war with uh, when you're at war with someone you can only call in your allies. When your allies join the war they can't call in their allies. You can't have big World War One-esque alliance chains, but you can in EU. If you call, if you go to war with someone, they might call in England, and England's going to call in Portugal, and Portugal might call in Spain. You might have the whole world against you if you're not careful. So we're going to be careful, as careful as I can be. Um, how's this come along? My improved relations are 27 now here, and 56 here. That's actually not too bad. Oh, there we go. Chance of it. Uh, Denmark inheriting Norway, zero percent. Uh, not possible to inherit unless unions have been stable for 50 years. Um, I don't know how long the game thinks this union has been uh, has been going. I don't know if it's just from the, uh, the game's start date or what, but it is from the game's start date that we do have a while. We do have a while. Let's look at our armies. We've still got two groups. One of five and one of six. Is that right? That's six. And that's five. Okay, so yeah, okay. One group of five, one group of six. Um, you must have light ship decorated. Right here, Gotland over here is fine. There's some two thousand and wool. Um, Teutonic Order has the most power in the Baltic be trade route. What about our trade route? The Hansa. 
96 of the ninety-four percent of the ducats in Lubeck they in the trade now. Jeez. I wonder if that's good. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god. Diplomatic power is over a hundred. I have no idea what that means either. Let's look at the diplomacy window on someone. Let's see if I can defend some of this diplo power. Uh, you're not looking like it. Nope. Go away. Go away. Covert action. All required diplomat. Can I purchase more diplomatic? Come here, hint window. Come here. Diplomatic power. It's one of the primary resources in the game. I can see that. Its primary use is to change culture and provinces and to increase diplomatic technology or unlock new ideas. Um. Thank. Unlock new technology. Diplomatic technology. Huh, it's a boat. Places and dogs. Very good. And we increase our trade range significantly. Um, I think we'll save. I want to just save administrative power for the national idea, but I also really want to get my stability positive. Um, military power. I don't see why we can't just save to do this to just go ahead and get uh, military tactics, land morale, infantry shock, and an armory as well. It's not a bad idea. Ideas are going to have to take a backseat to stability for now. Um, no active cardinals. Our military screen it is terrifying to me. We could pick up halberd infantry, but they're just not as good. One day we'll have the Napoleonic Square. One day. Uh, trade power is stuff. Economy is booming. We're doing good, guys. Making a lot of money. So yeah. Oh yeah. Advise it. Only now that we know that we are, uh, we are at least like soluble. Um, stability cost would probably help, but it's kind of short-sighted. Um, national trade modifier. Or national tax modifier is actually. Pretty good, so I'll go ahead and take that one. Um, global trade power actually seems really good, even though that is all of my money and costs four bucks a month. And then uh, this I don't care so much for at all. Actually, I'm not like a, I'm not warring very much, so it doesn't seem worthwhile. Norway has this really sickly color. I'm not sure if I agree with this. Norway just looks weird. Iceland still is yeah, Iceland. Still owned and operated by uh owned and operated by Norway. Hmm. And it looks like everything's great. Everybody loves everything. Who's at war with each other? I can see that the Hundred Years' War is still going on. Kanganate, Conquest of Kashmir, Crimean Conquest of Georgia, Hundred Years' War. And places that I could not pronounce if I wanted to. Looks like England's losing the Hundred Years' War. Is that Scotland? No, that's Foy. Fo? Foyek? But uh, I think we'll save the game here. Um... Uh, full caps again because I need to full caps I'm doing for let's plays and not caps not full caps I'm doing for my personal games the start of something beautiful B E A U T full thank you Jim Carrey I'll never forget how to spell that word again but uh yeah that Europa Universalis 4 is best as I can explain it in 20 to 30 minutes, however long I took. I may have, I may have taken an hour. May have taken an hour. I doubt it. 
but we'll find out, right? We'll find out when I have to edit this later. Um, yeah, thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you enjoy uh, U4 as much as CK2. I'm not as good as a U4. Um, it's all very new and strange and scary, but I guess we'll figure it out together. Unless you've already figured it out, then we'll not figure it out together. I'll figure it out alone. That'd be sad. Now I've, now I've upset myself, so, yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye.